Hello, I'm James from Trotech Laser. Today we're going to talk about return on investment for our laser machines. We have a fantastic number of customers who really want to know when this machine will be paid off. And they want to compare between outsourcing, mechanical engraving, maybe foil stamping or printing. I recently had the pleasure of contacting a major shipyard in Canada. They were looking for a laser engraver to do their electrical techs, both stainless steel and plastic. Right now they were outsourcing, they were doing a lot of outsourcing. We went through what they were paying right now for the outsourcing, what they might pay for say a CO2 laser, what they might pay for a fiber laser, and what they might pay for the flex laser. Here's how it went. The outsourcing, we identified that they were using about 500 stainless steel tags per month. And they were paying about $7.50 for each of these stainless steel tags. This was from a local uh, engraving company or from somebody somewhere out of uh, the province. We identified that each time they ordered, uh, they would have to pay a setup charge for this. And they ordered about five times a month. They also ordered quite a bit of, of Lamacoy plastic electrical labels. They ordered about a hundred of these per month and they were being charged about five dollars each part. And again, they had a setup. We took into account the number of parts, the amount of setups. They also wanted to make sure they knew how much they were paying for each PO. Every time they had to place an order in the month, they had to do a new PO. They identified that it cost their admin department about $100 every time there was a PO. In the end, they were paying about $4,600 a month for all their kegs. Next, we found out what it was gonna cost them to run a CO2 only laser. This was no, no fiber, no flex, just a CO2 laser. They, they wanted to see sort of the lowest baseline that they could get away with. We identified that it was going to take about $2,000 worth of time to train their people on how to use this machine. Uh, what we also did is uh, we said, they're still gonna be making 500 stainless steel labels, uh, but this time, instead of paying $7.50 each for, for them, the material was only gonna cost $1.80 each. The Lamacoid cost, the plastic from Trotec Laser, still gonna be ordering 100 parts, but this time the plastic was only going to cost them about 15 cents each. So there was a considerable savings there. Then we knew that we had to spray each of the stainless steel tags with our metal marking compound, the Surmark. So what we did is we added that Surmark cost in, into there. Um, and the labor to clean it and the labor to uh, spray it on the difference between outsourcing and a CO2 laser was gonna be about $2,700 a month in savings just using a CO2 laser. And that gave them an ROI or return on investment of 13 months. In 13 months, this CO2 laser's paid off. MTBF, this is mean time between failures. It's a, it's a very technical term that a lot of large companies use to say how long they can expect to have a machine go without anything going wrong with the machine. We had to come up with a number for, for this and we identified that a CO2 laser, you get about 120 months or about 10 years of use before something goes wrong with, with the machine. In 120 months, um, their profit before those 120 months, after they've paid the machine off, was $297,000 over outsourcing. Next, we identified what would it cost to do the fiber laser and how much are they gonna save on that? The first thing that we had to identify was that with just a simple fiber laser, we can't do any of the plastic. So we're still gonna be outsourcing that. The initial training cost, again, $2,000 to, tr to train their people on making this laser work for them. The stainless steel tag, now still, you know, uh, $1.20 for the, uh, the stainless steel, but this time we have no labor cost for spraying, cleaning, or the cost for the Surmark metal marking compound because the fiber laser is going to mark the stainless steel directly. We have saved a lot there on labor. The labor costs are way more than machine costs anyway because labor costs are ongoing whereas a machine eventually gets paid off. So after we calculated all of that, we found out that there would be a savings of $2,900 over outsourcing, which is just a little tiny bit more than they would do from the 
CO2 laser. And that's because they have no ability to create the plastic tags on the fiber laser and they had to outsource. So there wasn't a huge difference. So we thought, now let's see how a flex works. The flex laser, now this is a CO2 and a fiber laser, all in the same cabinet. This allowed them to produce their metal tags, their stainless steel tags in-house, and it allowed them to produce their plastic tags in-house too. So now we've taken out the outsourcing costs, we've taken out all the labor costs, and we've taken out the inflated price of outsourcing. We still have the $2,000 to train the, the people. This you, you have to add that into your, your costs for sure. Next, we have our $1.55 for the stainless steel tag. We have our 15 cents for the plastic tag. And the labor cost, instead of 100 hours of labor per month, or 10 hours of labor. Now we have four hours of labor only. And this is, this is just because somebody's gonna come to the machine, put the new sheet of plastic in and hit go. Now we have $1,190 difference. This is considerable over the $2,900 difference. We have an ROI on a flex of 21 months. This means the machine will be paid off longer than the, than the less expensive machines, but now, we have a mean time between failure of 144 months, which means this flex machine is going to uh, last a lot longer be between failures because you're not using it um, as heavily. So this gives you a profit of $431,000 between its mean time between failure rate. And this is why this company went over this document. We talked about it we realized that, that we were using their actual numbers, we were using actual numbers from our catalogs and found out that they did need the flex machine. They purchased the flex machine and they're using it fantastically now and actually thinking of buying another one. Guys, what I want you to do, I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave some comments below and please look at your ROIs before you do a machine. Thanks guys.